Hello there guys, TJV Games here, and today we're in the A6M2 Mod 11. Um, we're at New Guinea. Um, so, yeah, I'm not really um, flown this plane much. Um, but, you know, it can't be much different from the other Zeros. Um, so, yeah, what I'll do is I'll snip the video and I'll skip us straight into the action so we don't have to wait too long. So, we'll be back in a sec, guys. Hi guys, so we're back. Um, we've just seen our first sighting of an enemy. It's a B-25. Um, it's quite low. Uh, I did drop in altitude because um, I did climb above the clouds and there was literally no one there. Uh, it was still pretty high compared to everyone else. So I picked my target. I noticed there's a Spitfire, but I think, fuck it. I'll go after this guy. P-47. Dive on him. No throw. I noticed I'm gaining speed quite quick. I'm not sure what the I'm, I'm always not sure what the the plane's um, dive speed capability is before it rips its wings because I'm always in and out of different planes. Um, so, start on about this guy. I'm trying to light him up. Not really doing much damage. Avoid him. There we go. Get ready to dive. Oh, he's come apart now. So, that's an assist. Right, so try and jump on the back of this. Course, uh, notice I'm not going to because he's much faster than me. He's carried more speed into that. So, we're already losing guys left, right, and centre. Get the assist there. The Spitfire that was high up has come down, it took a hit. Um, so, we decide to fly away and see what else is going on. He's climbed a lot, very high. So, I'm watching him because I'm like, right, he's probably going to dive on me. Let's carry on watching him. I turn in his direction. So I'm not which reasons. Sorry. So I know that he cannot get the turn on me um, from a diving position. So I'm just trying to gain a little bit of attitude. Because um, this guy's above me. Everyone else is below me. I'm not really picked a target yet. There's still a lot of planes about, but I can't see many of them. And I spot a Wellington. Now, Zeros ain't really for shooting bombers. But everyone else seems preoccupied. This Wellington's on his own. You can see everyone's down there in that little melee. So I've got, I think, I said it, I'll go for him. Oh, a couple of hits on him. Now, I've took a hit now. Now, I start using my cannon rounds. And then, I forget how easy they go. So, oh, attaching machine guns. So, I do the right thing. Start aiming for his engines. Just to try and put him out. Make that one smoke. Aim for the next one. There we go. Now, I actually do a good job. Because I fucked him up now. He's now in a flat spin. He's dead. My kill. Or is it? No. No, it's not. That guy sees an easy kill for him and steals it. What are we in? Arcade battles? Must be. Well, nice one, though, Ed. Um, so, I think. Well, I'll just have to call it one Turn around. I actually thought that guy was going to shoot me because um, he came pretty close on the way back after I said he was a stealer, which he was. It was a guaranteed kill. Um, you see a guy doing a, a 90 degree plummet straight down into the floor on fire no one chases him well people do but you shouldn't because <laughs> oh, I don't know it's just it's gamesmanship isn't it you know what I mean I don't go around in arcade yeah I expect it people ram people kill steal Oh that shit, realistic, it's like a whole new breed of player. I do both, you know what I mean, and I see the differences. Um, there's a lot more communication in realistic battles, um, most of the time. So anyway, I'm, 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 not, I'm not sure what my plan of action is here. I'm smoking, I've not really got much damage though, I'm not losing fuel. I've got the um, Corsair in the distance. 
I think it's Corsair anyway. Um, who, which is a guy who was high up at the beginning. Um, so I think I'll just, you know, I'll fly at him. There's a lot of us there, there's four of us. So I feel a bit safer going in the head on. But I don't know what he's doing, he's just flying past. So I'll try and get a couple of hits on him. I think I'll get one. There we go. Nothing major. Not really doing much damage. So, start to stall out. Put full power. Use my flaps to help me stabilise. And then, I do sort of try and chase him, but I know I'm not going to catch him. You'll notice this Wellington's quite low. But I still think, well, I'll chase this guy. I may as well. Now, it's a tricky game, this, because I'm sort of... Because I'm on my own and I've been used to having a wingman, I'm sort of like lost because it's good to, you know, it's. I like, you know, two on one someone. someone. So being on your own and there's literally no communication throughout the team, nothing's popping up on chat. And we're just. I mean, they speak English, we're talking about the key 10 having the wrong machine guns or something. So I noticed the Wellington's down low and I think, you know what, sorry. I'll go for this guy. Now, I'm actually quite amazed of what happens here. Yeah, I've only got machine gun man. Oh, 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 pop his tail off. Guaranteed kill. No. No. Stolen again. So now I'm pissed off and I think, fuck it. I'm just going to head on this guy. What is the point? Is someone going to steal this? No, he's just going to pack up. I was pissed off. I knew I was never going to win that. What can you do? So I think I skip the rest of the match to see the results and to show you what I ended up with. Yep. Yeah. I ended up with. Oh no, no, I just didn't wait for the research points. I just ended up with three assists. 